Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. No one noticed, but we were you were gone, and now you're back. But yeah. to them, no, nothing's happened. Absolutely. So I was gone for a week. Ten days, to be yeah. exact. If you notice, we got some evergreen content last week, because yeah, sorry podcast. if we missed some big news. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it later this week, for sure. But uh, I was back in Cleveland. I was visiting my mom. She's a thousand years old. Oh, um, that's so nice. No, but she she is she's getting up there in her ages, and I, I wanted to go and visit her and make sure she was doing okay. We yeah. had, took her to a couple doctor's appointments, but I went back to Cleveland Ohio. You were like in the motherland, like now, in Cleveland. In the motherland is insane. So, I just want to start off by saying is that uh, Cleveland experienced horrific weather on August 6th that caused millions of dollars of damage, left thousands, hundreds of thousands of people without electricity, and obviously it sent the city into a state of turmoil. Uh, for for weeks and some it people was like COVID, they were everyone was stocking up on TP. Yeah, and, and even to this day, some people are still without power. You know what else happened that day? What's that? Dispensaries opened. Okay, that's why the that's why the tornado came through. So the tornado hit on August sixth. I flew out on August fifth. Make it make sense. You were like, I love this place. It's so wonderful. I landed the plane, visited with some family for a few hours. Uh, got home, ate ate an ate a, lo- a lovely meal. Oh, what'd you have? What was the first meal? I, I don't remember. It was Cleveland food. Oh, so probably despair with a side of sorrow, and Ooh, uh, it was like melt or uh, paninis no, or uh, I don't remember. But it was you know either way. I woke up the next day, decided to go do some grocery shopping, did some clothes shopping, Ooh. and while I was in a a uh, a what do you call it? Like a, a clothing store. I was going to buy some socks, found some sick socks, didn't end up getting them. The owner of the store, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, we might need to go into the basement. I look at this guy and I say, what do you mean (laughs) we're going to have to go into the basement? He's like, this is where my my room is. I swear to you, from the time I walked to the car, picked out three pairs of socks, the rain started flowing down. I'm in the I have my mother in her vehicle. She drives like a little old lady mobile. Um, like an Oldsmobile or something? Yeah, no, no, it's not an Oldsmobile. It's no funny story behind that too. Okay. But uh, regardless, I say I have my mom in the car. She has difficulty like walking. It's like she is like she's really an old lady. So it's just like I I can't be maneuvering her into a basement. So I jump in the car. The rain start hitting even heavier. I'm literally driving around while the tornadoes are hitting, man. It's crazy. Like, I'm seeing limbs and trees Twister falling in the road. Twister 3, TNT's adventure? Seriously. I'm seeing trees falling and power lines. We're driving all around just to try to get home. Because, obviously, I just want to get my mom home so well, I right, can get her right. safe. Oh, she wasn't, in the, she wasn't in the mall with you. She was waiting in the car. No, it was just, we just stopped off at a store. It was like oh, a, oh, a oh. storefront. Just oh. a brick and mortar. He's like, and he's like, come in my basement? And you're like, excuse me. Yeah, he told me to come in the basement. I'm like, I'm not going to leave my mom in her little frick. It's like a <laughs> RAV. She's in like a RAV4. I'm like, that thing's going to get flipped. <laughs> See you later, mom. I'm going in the basement. No, I'm not letting my mom go. So we just we're just driving around during the storm, and there's like flooding and down power lines and trees everywhere, and there's just like uh, we it's only a real saw, bad situation. We only saw a few homes that had like some significant damage, but later on in the week we saw more. It was absolutely insane. Now, with that being said, my mother, I was staying at her at her assisted living facility, and uh, she did not have electricity for. Four and a half days. Four and a half days of my trip to Cleveland, I had no electricity. That sounds like a great time. It was the worst experience of my life because nothing's worse than being in poverty and uncomfortable. That sucks. Well, and it's hot with no AC. No AC. But, you know, honestly... Compared to Texas, it was. It got, oh yeah, you were like it's cold here. Yeah, I think like a couple days it was in like the high eighties. Oh, but so you had a winter coat got, on. It never got above ninety. My God. So yeah, I don't know. That was my experience. Uh, cold showers, um, eating out every day because I'm gonna make sure my mom eats breakfast. And if you're asking me why didn't you get a hotel. Ask my mom because every day I was like, Mom, please, let's get a hotel. Mom, please, let's get a hotel. I'll pay for it. Mom, please, let's get a hotel. No, the electricity will be back on today. Don't worry. Mom, 
we need to get a hotel. No, I don't know if I can make it into the hotel and on the elevator. Let's just go back to the house. It'll be fine. Love that lady to death, but I wanted to strangle her. She was, she was just like, I'm good. She was just sitting in the dark. Was she? <laughs> well, I mean, she, she's old, dude. She goes to bed at 6.30 anyway. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So she's all like, good night. And you're like. <laughs> so, so the only thing that saved me was my Nintendo Switch, which I'm so glad that I brought. I was debating on whether I should take an Xbox with me or a Nintendo Switch because I already know, like, my mom cannot entertain me. Yeah, yeah. All this lady watches is Roku TV. It's, it's absolutely insane. I actually, I got her a Roku for, I think, Christmas a few years back, and that's all she watches. So with Roku TV, Jonas, there's a show called Jail TV. Are you familiar with this? No. Where they show, like, uh, it's like a, like kind of like a cops, I guess, but it's just like all in jail. Oh, it's like 60 days in. Yeah, it kind of is, but it's like real people. And they'll just, like, bring them in, and they'll, like, say what they're here for. And then, like, if something interesting happens, obviously, they get that on camera. It's actually taped here in Austin. Is it really? So I swear to God, man. When it was, like, Austin, Texas, I'm like, Mom, you're literally watching. It's just an app called Jail TV? It's on the Roku app, like, they're, uh... Oh, the actual Roku. Yeah, it's, like, oh, actual okay. Roku TV. So that, that's a lot of what my mom watches. Um, and it's so funny. It was the Travis County Police Police Department. So I was That's like, "Yeah, it's funny." She dude. was watching that. Um, so yeah, uh, with the with the uh, with the disaster that happened, FEMA de declared it a national emergency. I don't know if FEMA's getting involved, but I am taking a, a keeping a lookout so I can sign my mom up for some type of relief. She lost everything in her refrigerator. Um, oh damn. So yeah, but Jonas, you were you were talking about one other aspect of Cleveland, and that is the fact that dispensaries were open. There. Yep. So me being TNT Dynamite, I say no to drugs. So yeah. I I didn't go to a single dispensary, but I did go to a lot of places that sold aspirin. Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, I went to three different places that sold aspirin. Yeah. And each place was different. Yeah. It was amazing. The staff, the staff at each of these places that sold aspirin looked like they were straight out of California. California Clevelanders. Yeah, I saw one one guy. I walked into one aspirin department, and they had uh, they had like this guy who had like a red flip top. He looked like he was, he was this super gay. Had like a a septum ring. One of the wildest experiences I've ever had. So you have like a folded mohawk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you would have like a giant mohawk. Okay. So Cleveland aspirin prices are actually really good. Like compared to like uh, Las Vegas, crazy different. Like you could buy um, aspirin for like under 20 bucks. And I'm dealing with out-of-state aspirin prices, you know? Damn. Yeah, that's insane. So I got my mom some aspirin. Um, she's got, she's got to get her blood thinned. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to do something. It's going to thin something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> thin, thin the lines between reality, but no. Yeah. So I will say is that it's very cool. Um, I went, like I said, I went to like three different aspirin places. There's so many all over the place, man. It's insane. Like as soon as you make aspirin available to the community, the community's going to want more aspirin. I mean, yeah. Tylenols. AM PMs just flying off oh the shelves. Oh my god, they got Bear, they got Aleve, yeah. they got Tylenol, yeah. they got Advil. <laughs> you damn right, all the NSAIDs you can want, motherfucker. Yeah, they even got Benadryl in there, too. Ooh, <laughs> hey. Get sleepy on them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. So. So, yeah. So it was it was a beautiful trip, Jonas. So let me ask you this. What was your favorite part of your trip? My favorite part of my trip. Honestly, Jonas, my favorite part of the trip was just spending time with my mom. I put together this this shoe caddy for her that is essentially like a series of plastic boxes that stack on top yeah, of each yeah. other. Yeah, it puts all our shoes in it. Yeah. So they're not like everywhere. So we were doing that for maybe like three hours because the thing was bought off a of freaking Team U and it, it just was like super Japanese writing all over the box and you had to assemble it by hand and it was painstaking but in the middle of that the electricity came on and me and my mom just had like this moment where we looked at each other we were like Woo! And you like turn the ac up and threw yeah. some ice in the fridge and we're yeah. Like, hell yeah let's go it was it was honestly that was the biggest smile <laughs> <laughs> that's 
so bad. Oh my god. There was some other things, man. I you know, like there's there was some rifts in the family and I, I went up there to essentially try to change some lives, try to make an impact. I was only there for ten days. I can't be there three hundred and sixty five to help my mom. So every bit of effort that I put into maintaining the family structure was a hundred percent worth it to me. And uh I'd do it all over again if I could. I don't regret it at all. Nice. Nice, man. Although yeah, I just it just tough luck that the tornado hit the day you got there kind of sort of that sucks so all right man uh when are you going back to cleveland never all right that's how i feel every time i go so that's all time we've this episode please make sure to like and subscribe for a jonas tnt uh go to crazy we out